What's up YouTube? This is your man, Big Beeper Ducks 100. I have a great video for you guys tonight. Tonight in this short video, I wanted to share with you two cool tips that I think you might be able to use the next time you're working on your Mac inside OST in Yosemite. The first tip I want to show you guys is dealing with Safari. Now, I know with a lot of you all that have upgraded to the new Safari here, have no well, you may have noticed that now when you go to a website, mm, we're just gonna go to, I guess, we can go to Apple Support website. When you go here, you'll notice that it'll just say Apple Inc. Whereas before, it would show you the full URL in the search field. It's okay, you can fix that. Just go up to Safari, come down to Preferences like so. Then come over to where it says Advanced. So you might be on the General. It's okay, just go into Advanced like so. Once you're there, go to where it says Smart Search Field and then choose Show Full Website Address. That will show you everything, like so. That's the first tip I wanted to show you guys. Now, the second tip I wanted to show you all is also dealing inside Safari. Now inside Safari, where it used to just be, you know, smart browsing and everything like that, safe browsing where you can like just, you know, be just basically on the internet secretly just browsing your websites not being tracked Apple has a new feature now inside Safari and once again you might be under general just come over to where it says search now like I said before you used to just have you know under search engine just Google Yahoo Bing and everything like that I think that was the only three you had but now they added a new one which is DuckDuckGo now with basically DuckDuckGo that's basically telling all websites not to track you. You do not want any website whatsoever to follow what you're doing or remember anything that you do on that website. So DuckDuckGo is like a newer way of just basically browsing the web privately so no one knows. <laughs> so if you wanted to keep everything, you know, just safe and, you know, just secretly hiding everything on the Internet, that's the best way to go on Safari. So you can just enable that by simply clicking on DuckDuckGo. And I keep mine enabled 24 seven. So that is the third tip. Now we're gonna close down Safari. Now with the third tip, cause I actually was just gonna make this a two tip video, but I was like, you know what? Let me just add on that basically. Well, that was gonna be number three. So I just figured I'll add that on as number two cause I'm pretty sure some of you all didn't know about that. So there you go. Now with the third tip I wanted to show you guys, I know we all had this problem before in fact, I actually made a video on this in the past, but it was a different solution that you can do to resolve this, what I'm about to show you. But I have a newer way to resolve the situation that's at hand that you may be having right now, this moment, or sometime in the future. That is when you have items on your desktop like so. So let me drag those items to my desktop, then I'm going to take these two items. And I'm going to do a right click and trash those items. Now, let's just say if I wanted to delete those items that's in my trash can, normally I would do a right click and empty trash, but it may prompt you and say, oh, these items cannot be deleted from this computer or emptied right now. And you just may be about to pull your hair out because it's driving you crazy. Mm -hmm. It's okay. What you can do is if you hold down the option key, and again, if you hold down your option key, because if you just come over to Finder and do a right click, you're not going to be able to do what I'm about to show you. Again, hold down your option key before you click on Finder this time. And then I want you to come over to where it says Finder and right click. Now, I want you to choose where it says Relaunch. Click that like so, and you see everything just blinked off the screen for a split second. That's because I just relaunched my Finder and all of my applications that's down in my dock. When you do so, you can then right click and empty your trash. Like so. So if you was ever having that problem where your Mac wouldn't let you delete your items that's down in your trash can, you can now fix it with just a relaunch. This is your man, Big B Production 100. I sure hope you all enjoyed this short video. If so, please rate, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Before I end this video, I just want to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and watch all of my other videos. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, please feel free to watch all of them. I have some great YouTube videos up on the web that will show you how to keep your Mac fast, how to clean it without applications such as, uh, you know, 
uh, virus removers and stuff like that and you know all those crazy applications and tools that you may have to download I have videos for iPhone for your iPad and videos for photography as far as editing and a whole bunch of videos I think I have over 200 some videos on my channel so please feel free to watch them all comment subscribe like them all it really helps me out a lot and I greatly greatly appreciate it thank you I'll let you